The number one question that I've been getting over the last three or four weeks since my presentation and workshops at, in Miami at Chauffeur Driven and also in Atlantic City at LCT a couple of weeks ago is, Bill, what should I be doing with technology? It's confusing. There's so many options. I agree with you. The market has been absolutely flooded uh, with technology options. And I think that's actually a good thing um, for you, the operators, because you're going to have choices. And there's a lot of different variations that are out there, but there's unfortunately not one solution for everybody. I think there's one technology provider that wants you to think that you need one solution for everything, but here's some couple data points that I would take a look at. And I would not be in buying mode today because there's some new stuff that's out and it's available, but there's so much coming down the pipeline in the next three to four months. If it was me, I would be doing research and due diligence today and seeing which one fits into my scope of business today and how I can grow with it into the future because so much is going to change over the next six months, 12 months, 18 months that you have a really sound partner that gives you all the feature sets that you need. So the options are you got Carhu, you got Art iCars, Limo Alliance, Limo Anywhere, uh, Livery Coach, Trip Tracker, Ground Widgets, Deem. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You've got the Hudson Group, you've got Fast Track all these different softwares out there and the kind of legacy softwares are adding on-demand features. They're adding apps or adding vehicle tracking, all of these different components, SMS, text mes messaging. So it's really confusing because everybody says they have the best platform. Well, I think that there's platforms that are built strictly as an app to send you reservations and just use your fleet inventory. There's apps that want you to give them your client base to utilize and that's really the only hangup that I have here is that those apps, uh, you know, that don't give you that private label, you're potentially going to lose customers to their brand if they like the app. So if I'm your customer and you own ABC Limo and then you send me over to Acme app and I start using it and I love it and I'm your customer here in Nashville and I travel to Chicago and I use Acme app and it's awesome and then I do it in New York next week and I do it in Los Angeles the week after that and then I go to Des Moines, Iowa and there's no inventory and I can't get a car, I blame you for that. So I'm just going to start using the Acme app and not be allegiant you know, to a company. So one thing that I think is critical in this decision process because you've invested a lot of time and money into acquiring your customers and building relationships and retaining them that you need to protect your customer base. I wouldn't want to share that information with anybody. So look at the full suite of solutions. You have app-based platforms that are coming onto the market and already exist. You have softwares, meaning reservation, dispatch software, accounting, with kind of the whole enchilada, along with new app technology as well that provides on-demand, near-demand, global affiliate networks for on-demand, near-demand, all of those components, you've got to decide what is best for you. And I would highly recommend that you do plenty of due diligence and look at all of them and figure out how you can grow. And then once you've made that decision, then make a purchase, but don't do it today. There's too much coming down the pipeline. I know of one that's launching on January 1st, two or three more that are gonna launch between now and the Vegas show with LCT which starts on February 29th leap year this year. Uh, so I would wait and I would start doing your due diligence. Literally create a spreadsheet, write down the features that you want you need to be able to grow and then list all the different software components next to it and just put check boxes to see which one provides those different feature sets to you. And then look at the cost. Remember, price has no value. So if you're a price shopper, you're obviously just going to go with the most inexpensive software. But if you are looking for value, then you need to quantify the cost upfront and on a monthly basis based on the feature sets that you're going to utilize. And you know, you need QuickBooks integration. If you're doing GDS, you need, you know, ground span and GDS integration. You know, you, you need online reservation widgets. You, you probably want an app for your customer and for your drivers, you may or may not want on demand or what I call where I think the industry is going is gonna to be to near demand. But unfortunately, I don't think there's gonna be one single solution for everybody because you all operate differently and you're all already on existing softwares. So my takeaway is do your due diligence. Don't rush to buy today, make an educated decision. 
and wait at least probably 60 to 90 days until we get much closer to LCT in Vegas to make that buying decision.